Welcome! We're gonna do this new installment called The Life on a Seed Farm. So uh, this is our first time. This is, let's see, April 12th, the first time we're doing this. So this is kind of spring on the seed farm. What's happening on a seed farm? This is all taking place at Earthly Delights Farm. We're growers for Snake River Seed Cooperative. Okay, so come on in, I'll show you around. We're entering into the greenhouse. Here's Riley, transplanting some eggplants. All right, so come on this way. So eggplants and tomatoes and peppers and things like that, they have a really long growing season. So if we wanna get seed off of these, as if we wanna get uh, food off of these, we have to start them indoors first. So we've been doing that for a couple months. We usually start our seeding uh, first week of February, and then we move uh, through, we do the cold stuff first, anything that we wanna get in the ground, like kale and um, lettuce heads and things like that we do in February. Starting in March, we start with our hot crops, which is stuff like the tomatoes, the peppers, the eggplants, uh, the zinnias, stuff like that. So um, that's what's going on. In here, there's tons and tons of tomatoes and eggplants and stuff. Ooh, and look, little peanuts coming up right here. So we grow peanuts here, which is one of our favorite things to grow. So they're just little babies right now. So now we're gonna walk out into the field and we're gonna look at what's actually going on outside uh, on this beautiful right, sunny day. So uh, here we are in the sorrel patch. This is uh, the favorite of the farm kiddos. Rosalie and Jai, and this is their friend Oliver, and they're liking the sorrel. What do you guys like about sorrel? Uh, yeah, it's tasty. It's it is tasty. tasty. Does it taste sour? Yeah. Yeah. Does it taste like you're, get, like you're eating an uh, orange or a lemon or something? Yeah. A lemon. A lemon, right. So, sorrel is one of the many perennial seed crops we grow here. They're nice as a seed crop, so you don't have to do a lot with them. They just keep coming back year after year, and you just harvest the seed and eat the food. Okay, so now we're gonna move on. Oh, right here is, um, here, let's move over here. We'll look at this. So this is cover crop. This is a winter or fall cover crop, uh, rye and vetch. Uh, it's for, to feed the soil. We gotta give the soil food if you want it to give us food. So right here, um, we've started to plant out a lot of our spring, our spring crops, our spring seed crops. So what you can see in here is you can see a lot of lettuces. You might notice that a lot of the lettuces are spread around. So we're, we've got, I don't know, something like eight or 10 lettuce varieties out here right now. But um, unlike growing them for food, in order to grow them for seed, you need to isolate them to prevent cross pollination. So uh, we give our lettuces about 20 feet in between varieties um, so that they can, uh, and, and we plant another flowering crop in between the lettuces so that that other flowering crop will be flowering at the same time as the lettuces will can will keep bees and wasps from moving from lettuce to lettuce and so that's how we do that so in here we're, we've got um we've got a lot of lettuces we've also got some biennials that we've overwintered so um down there you can see some carrots that have overwintered this is a crop of walla walla onions here um these are things that you grow um you grow one year they make the onion or the carrot or the beet or whatever and then um, the next year they flower and make the seed and so we'll harvest it. So these were things that we grew last year, pulled out, looked at them, evaluated, replanted this fall or last fall and now they're coming up this spring. And so basically in here there's just a bunch of different seed crops that are coming up. We only have uh, one variety of each thing that might cross pollinate with each other that are, that are outcrossing varieties and then we have multiple selfing varieties like lettuces that we just separate by a short distance. That's plenty for today. We'll revisit this uh, in a few weeks.